What's happening, everyone? My name is Beast Streak, and welcome back to Master Detective Archives, Renko. Now, from where we last left off, we introduced ourselves to the other Master Detectives, who also revealed about their own specialties, aka Fortes, which helped them, well, which helped them solve the mysteries. And we also, and it is really cool that we learned a bit more about them. We also learned that. There was also a mystery afoot, and one of the detectives deduced that there were that the number of, de of detectives that are on the train is off. For for all the five detectives except for Yuma, they were told that there was going to be originally five detectives, but there are in fact six. So all of them realized that there's act there's probably an imposter among them. And not only that, but Yuma himself has questions about the Amaterasu Corporation, about Kanai Ward, and about the Amaterasu Express, which is here we, which is where we are today. So, looks like we're gonna be asking questions about the Amaterasu Corporation. First, what is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. That's it. You see their products practically everywhere in Oh, life. oh, okay, now I see it. They okay, so that's the logo. Kids toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Hmm. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. Okay. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? I get it. Sure, I got it, thanks. Yeah. Alright, so we learned about the Amaterasu Corporation. What about Kana... Kanai... Kanai Ward? We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? That's actually a pretty good question. It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Amaterasu Autonomous Zone? Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, so it's like... But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Okay. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. Okay, so... Okay, I guess. As know. a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Really? Isolated? Why is that? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. So it's a city full of unsolved cases. Okay, that's why we're going. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. Huh. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, the entire world. Oh, I see. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. Okay. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Including the group right here. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Okay. I see. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going to learn more about Kanai War, Amaterasu Corporation. What about the Amaterasu Express? Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. 
The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai Ward. Okay. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Uh, actually, that's a good question. Why would it, why would it not have passenger cars beforehand? It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite Where we are. A warm welcome. Okay. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, there, there could be something going on in, uh, in Almadrasu Corporation in Kanai Ward. By the way, <clears throat> the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. Hmm. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. It could be a possibility, Melamine. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Actually, wait a minute. Is Poochie's voice actress Chiaki? It kind of it kind of does sound the same. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Or no way. Or is it Celeste? Or is it Celeste's voice actor, actress? I don't know. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. I see. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears hmm. to be broken and won't open. Of course you can't access the fifth car. Broken? Yeah, actually, why, why is it broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. All right. Well, it looks like we're gonna be looking around in the train. Or not. Does anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. Okay. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Ooh. What? Huh? Wait, did he did he only hear that one that voice? Wait a minute, was it was it the was it the ghost or Shinigami? Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. Hmm. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Yeah, I don't think he would like coffee. Or okay, never mind. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, oh. how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. I, I don't think you would like, it, well, coffee bitter. <sighs> Thank you. Careful, it's hot. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I guess he likes the coffee. I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? Hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. It could be. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? That's a good question. I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know. Hmm. Apex? Maybe not. Zilch? 
well, I think both Apex and Poochie are the least suspicious because, for one, they may have shown they ha they have shown their master detective skills. Uh, maybe Zilch. I don't know about Yuma. Why does it? It, it kind of does remind me of Dangam Rumpa. I mean. I mean, I know most people think, I know most of the detectives think would, that Yuma would be suspicious. But Zangi hasn't, hasn't, yeah, Zangi hasn't spoken, like, most of all that. Most, most of his time. I mean, he's just, I mean, he's, he's probably, in, well, he has been, he is, well, like, the oldest and wisest out of all of us, maybe. I don't know. I'm just gonna say this? I mean, it, it's... Well... Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Hmm. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident, or did someone attack me? It could be that someone did attack you. Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. Could be. I, I don't know. I might have picked the no wrong one. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. Okay, so it probably doesn't matter who I choose. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. Yeah. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Maybe it's with the ghost? I don't know. Remembering now won't do any good. What? It is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hmm. Hey, Runt. What? Uh huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. Okay. What, uh, Zange? Oh, Zange. Really? There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Maybe. Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? Hmm. I've heard someone has used photography to show the other side of the moon. Can really? you do that, Zange? That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. All right. Let's see what our wait. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. Okay. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. Hmm. Okay, so I might have, I should have chosen Zange earlier, of who is the most suspicious. What's that? Your cell phone? Looks like it. Quiet. Zange using his forte. Okay. As I've said before, my power is photography. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Okay. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Okay. Oh, okay. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. Okay, you my drinking coffee. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. 
Oh, I see. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Hmm. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. Okay, so at least that'll work. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Okay, okay yeah, that, that seems pretty... that's actually pretty useful. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. Hmm. All you do is doubt everybody! Be constructive for once! I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think he probably did it through his eye, like, like, Mad-Eye Moody. You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Hmm. Yep, a detective's job is to suspect others. Okay, that's true. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. Hmm. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Wait, what? Really? Whoa, whoa, Yuma! Young man, are you alright? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. That's not good. I believe you should rest. Yeah. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. Could be. The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Oh yeah, infirmary. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be alright on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? What? Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? He was talking to the voice. No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Well, see if we can get there. Oh man. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Can I talk to everyone else? Okay, I, I, I can. I can talk to everyone else. I just want to see their reactions. Right. Okay. S sorry. I'll do that. Hey. You don't look so good. Doesn't seem like an act. Go get some rest. Yes. Right. Uh, thank you. I'll allow it. The infirmary is in car one. Go and rest there. Yes. Uh, okay. Um... You look pale. Do you need any assistance? S sorry No, I'm fine. I could go on my own. If you say so. Oh. Will you be alright on your own? Are you sure you don't want you don't need someone to take you? Uh no, I'm fine. Right. Come on, Runt. You look like you're about to collapse. Go rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. I'll do that. Okay. I just want to try it. I just want to see what they say. Hopefully the infirmary is not locked. Whoa, what's this? I didn't see this before. It's a map of the train. Okay, so we are in the second car. Okay. Okay, so that's how we get from... Oh, whoa. Okay. That's how we get from... From the car... From car to car. Wait. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. It's locked. It's locked? Yeah, no kidding. You gotta find the key first. The key! I don't know where the key is. Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? Could be. I see it. 
Whoa. Oh, here it is. If the entire area of the mini-map is shining, that means a destination or investigative object is, objective is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. Okay. Oh, must be. <sighs> it's locked. <sighs> I can't get in. I need to find a key quickly. Okay. Oh! Oh! Is it sort of like a detect- detecting? It opened. Could it be in the- could it be in here? Whoa! I probably should have looked around a bit more. Yuma. Whoa! Oh, there you are. Uh-oh. A ghost. Okay. Hey. Wake up. It's time to get up. <laughs> How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boom kill you. Boom kill? <sighs> Whoa, what's with that? Huh? Ah! <laughs> so you can finally see cute little me. Yeah. Let's all take your route. So who are you? Ah, here we go. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Hmm. Oh, aren't you Whoa. rude? Hey! The guy has the same reaction as Monokuma has. It's talking! Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too? Yep, looks like it. I've completely lost it! Um... Snap out of it! You're my master, aren't you? Wait, what? Really? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us. Wait, did that happen in the beginning of the game? With the book and what? all? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Uh, yeah, he has amnesia. Get our memory, but we also become you your master. Don't well, get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. Wait, a death god? Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Or Shinigami, of course. I mean, heck, I've, I know I'm, I, I know about another about another high school student who got a book from another oh, Shinigami. Shinigami. Nice to meet you, Shinigami. Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. Okay. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. Okay, I have to make you. You are kind of cute. That's why I prefer well, you're, to go by Shinigami. I mean, you do. I mean. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Hmm. Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yup, yup. Oh. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. Really? That was your wish after all. That's why we made that contract. So can you at least help us at least remember more? That's what I wanted? Why would he, why would you want- And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. And was it our memories? Offered? <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. Oh. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. Oh, that's what he did? That's what Yuma that's did? That's why I have amnesia? Hmm. The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Oh, okay, the lost and found room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. Really? But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Okay. That. Really? It doesn't? Which is it? Yeah. Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Both are very good questions. I, w I wonder about that as well. Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Really? Why not? Tell me! No can do. That's the contract. Seriously? By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. And what's that, Shinigami? What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Wait, two hours? Really? Huh? Whoa, whoa! Two hours? Oh, two hours when after we... Okay. Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? Okay, I didn't know about that. But during that time, no one came to check on you. Wait, not even the other detectives? They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. I don't think so. Speaking of, why am I here? Yeah. Is this the restroom in the first car? It is. That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. Yeah. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. Hmm. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Okay. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Yeah, it's a possibility. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. Okay. That's right. Where are the others? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, where were they if we've been out for two hours? Oh. Oh! Oh, I thought it was in first person. Hmm. Hmm? Why are you staring at the mirror? I the top that are you the type of guy who admires himself until he dies of heartbreak? <sighs> I can see in the mirror. I can hear its voice. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> you still didn't believe me. Okay. Oh. This place. The landscape is passing by, by outside the window. Nothing looks familiar. Well, you have no memories, Master, so of course none of it's familiar. I guess you're right. Uh, is it? Yeah. You good? No. <sighs> There's no way. 
Oh, at least we, we, we got our rank up. Smoke? Smoke? What's going on? That's not good. It's me! Oh, what? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. Why would there be smoke? Oh, your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. What? So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Oh, that's not good. Right! Is there a fire? Fire? So it's burning? Look! Now I'm getting excited! I think someone tried to get a fire extinguisher. Excited? Something. Yeah! Wait, is it from the infirmary? Or... <laughs> What's going on? It's coming from the infir... Whoa! What? Zilch! Zilch! Wait, Zilch? Zilch, please wake up! Zilch! How did that happen? There's too much smoke! I, I gotta help! Master, look! Fire, fire extinguisher. Alright. Get in there. Come on. How did Silk. Oh. No way. No! Silk! No! Already? It's definitely Danganronpa all over again. There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Yeah, I know. Like, observe, look around for clues. Huh? Ask everyone. Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. Okay. Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Yeah. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Yeah, well, he lost his memory. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Really? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Explain it another time. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. Okay, well, thank you. So, get to it. I'm really doing this. Looks like it, Yuma. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. Hmm. <sighs> Well, here we go, Yuma. Investigation. Yeah, it is back to Danganronpa. Time to investigate. So it looks like Zilch was... It's completely charred. Oh, man. It doesn't... No movement. No breathing, either. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. Yeah. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. No. Oh, man. Well, how's our corpse doing? Well. Dead, without a doubt. Oh, man. That's so kind of charred after all. You really didn't even need to check. What? What? Did someone target Zilch? Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. Actually, wait a minute. What happened to his hat? It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner... 
you think you could have saved a life? Forget about it. What? If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred corpse. Hey. What's dead is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. I have to tell the others about this. Yeah. We have to. Mm, I smell a case. Okay. So fire extinguisher. This is the, the fire extinguisher I used is on the floor. It looks like it's mostly empty now. Master. You open the lock and pop the fire. Now some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up close and personal. <laughs> wow, AED. <laughs> it's the AED from the infirmary. Using this on Zilch now probably won't help. Well, you want to use it on that on the human charcoal? If you did come back to life, he won't be happy about it. No. Medical equipment. This is this is medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. But even if you did not use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. The guy was charred black before you got into the room. Well, I, I did my best. Was a, well, wait a minute. How did the fire spread spread so quickly? It's a map of the train. So we were in the first car. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. What other clues could we have? The question is... Wait, that's the connecting door. Main control room. Uh, okay, the door is locked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shinigami is right. I better hurry. Alright. Yeah, we need to tell the others. Where is everyone? Wait, what? Oh no. What? Everyone's dead? Melamy? What the heck happened? Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? It has to be. Maybe it's a nightmare. <laughs> Please, I want to wake up. I can't take this anymore. Seriously. You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? No, I don't know. What? Are you anyway? Friend or foe? Yeah. Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. Really? Isn't that nice? I'm your friend and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. Is there a way to stop the contract? I don't get it! Why would I make a contract with a death god? I would like to know that as well! Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Yeah, the question is... Oops. Shut up, you're trapped! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective! This is a nightmare to you, then you gotta use all you got! But... what can I even do? I don't know. That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet. Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Wait a minute. Should I have gone, should I have done the whole suspicious thing? Come on. Earlier with someone else? I probably should have. Oh man. It's Melanie, all right. Yeah. She's completely burnt to a crisp, but I recognize what parts are left of her face. Yeah, the makeup on her, on her eyes. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. 
She has been? There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. Could be. I mean, look. You found two corpses back to back? You sure are reeling them in! Yeah, liquor can be used to be for to you know, for for fire. <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. Was someone trying to not only kill all the detectives but try to burn them all? There's nothing lucky about this at all. So, what's the cause of death? Well, huh? Oh, um, there aren't any obvious external wounds besides the um, burnt. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Yeah. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? I would like to know that as well. Liquor bottle. This is... There are empty liquor bottles all around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melanie have been set on fire with this? I was thinking about that. Oh, it's the best way to cook the stench out of me! After all, yeah ha ha! Really? What a rich fragrance! How about a taste, Master? Uh, no thanks. Okay, so let's see here. What else are we missing? What else are we looking for? Bar counter. This is... There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melanie on fire? He was literally flambay to with some pricey looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. What about the cup of coffee that she helped that she gave me? Let's go to the next one! I know. Okay, so the fire extinguisher here was not used. It's a map of the train. Okay, so this is so the map is just gonna be the same thing. Okay. Whoa! Huh? Did it just shake? Looks like it. Oh, crud. Now what happened? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. Yeah, what, 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 was, what is it with that? Whoa. Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Looks like it. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Yeah. Right, that's right. Oh man. Seriously. Poochie's coat. Treasure's small panda applique adorned on the side of. Hey! Is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars! Yeah! Zonge! Poochie! Apex! Anybody! Oh no. <sighs> mm, no response. That's not good. That's not good I at all. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away! I know. I'm getting excited here! Oh man, but unfortunately... Oh, okay, so, I, so that's a pause button right there. Okay, so unfortunately... That's just gonna be all the time I have to take for this video. But I... I oh, but, oh my gosh. I mean, just when everyone was about, was getting along. Ugh, that, this is definitely Danganronpa all over again. I mean, but, I mean, but now it's going by very quickly. I mean, already, we've lost both Melanie and Zilch. Ah oh, man. That was, oh, man. So, who, so why, okay, so we're, so, Zilch is right that there is a, an imposter among us. There is, there, it could be an imposter among the master detectives. And it could be the imposter who's killing the rest of the master detectives. Oh, okay. I believe that the reason why they're killing the other master detectives was so that they cannot use their fortes 
to find out what's going on in Kanai Ward, which is well, which is controlled by the Amaterasu Corporation. So that's why they're trying to stop them from finding out the mysteries of Kanai Ward. That's a I believe that's I believe that's what we're leaning towards. But hopefully hopefully we'll be able to find the rest of the detectives, but I've got a bad feeling that they could be they could have the same fate, but we'll we'll find out in the next episode of Master Detectives Archives Rank Code. So stay tuned for more as Yuma and Shinigami find out what happens to the rest of the detectives. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other Let's Plays where I do all kinds of gaming content, including 2D games, side-scrolling games, action adventure games, racing games, horror games, fighting games, and many other games. And also check out my other content where I do reviews, discussions, reactions, top 10s, voice impressions, challenges, and theories. And if this is the type of content you enjoy watching, keep updated for all the latest videos, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell on. So once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Speed Street out.